So we are starting up another arc series. I get it. And this is my third one I've made. But this one's going to be a little different. On the map Valguero, or however you pronounce it. And I'm going to try to do it instead of doing two episodes, or skipping see episode two, and so on. But, what? Well, I'm going to pause it, and yeah. We spawn in the Chalk Hills, build up at least a little wooden shelter, and at least tame maybe a horse, because there's lots of horses in the Chalk Hills. There's also a lot of Deinonychus. Normally, in Arc Vagero, I never really tamed Deinonychus. I would take the egg, and I would kind of just set it around. So maybe this time, I'll try to use like a pack of them and kill the bosses. Because I'm, I'm going to try to do the boss. But that's going to be like 40,000 episodes. Or maybe two episodes. Because I'll just speed run a bunch of things. So yeah. We are in... So, let's go to Chalk Hill Zone 1. Oh, create new survivor. Chalk Hill Zone 1. And here we go. We are loading in. This is a big map, so it takes a really long time. Stick, it doesn't take that long. Unless it freezes like how it's doing right now. This map is where I mainly find the unicorn. Like, I'll find it around up there somewhere. But at the moment, let's just try to get our basics done. If I can grab a rock. Yeah, I'm thinking grab a rock here. These rocks aren't pick up a ball. Once again, all these rocks, you can't pick any of them up. If you're going to put rocks on the ground, at least let us pick them up. All oh, these rocks. I'm not going to give you the struggle of watching me for 30 minutes getting rocks. So I'll see you when I find a rock. And a rock. I know it's not that big of a deal, but it's still a rock. So now I'm going to get rid of all these skins. So, I got enough resources. Should be good to build at least a pickaxe. And I think I'm gonna put my points 2 into stamina, 2 into health. Okay, I got my pickaxe. Ow. Don't tell me that's a unicorn. I'm not even joking. Is that it? No. It can't be. It is. It actually is. See, I, I told, I literally didn't spawn it. Look, I do not have the bar up there. And look, if I click the button, there's nothing there. I did not spawn this in, but I'm gonna have to tame that. I'm pretty sure I'm high enough level. Plus, my taming speed's at like three thousand or something. It's really high, so it should only take like a mehoberry or two. To tame it. I hope this is a good level too, because getting unicorns like right off the start is a really good thing. So I just gotta try to sneak up to it. It's fifty. Level ten. Oh my god, I have to be level ten. That's a pack of dino, I guess. I don't wanna go there. Well, in that case, I have to get five or four levels. So I might as well just grind some stuff. I'll see you guys when I get level 10. I build some thatch foundations and then, like, I'm gonna drop them so I can get XP faster. So, yeah. I have enough levels. I'm level 10. So I'm gonna try to tame it. And hopes it doesn't run away. Because they intend to do that a lot. See, like I said, it's a really fast aim because of my timing speed. Oh, yeah. This was a good option. 
Well, it wasn't really an option. I was gonna tame this anyways. See, normally, if I get a unicorn, I'll just stack it. Like, lots of weight, lots of damage, lots of health, lots of speed. And then this kind of will be like my taming machine. Because, for those of you who just watch ARK for fun don't actually play, eh, but still don't know about the use of the horses and unicorns, you can either left trigger on a controller, or right click, I'm pretty sure, and then it do this kick, and you can knock stuff out with it. See, like I just did. And then... Shoot, that's a tag raptor. I kind of want to tame that. Yeah, I'm just going to be walking towards it this time. Get over here. Get over here. Okay, it is knocked out. So I'm going to mark it. I'm going to go grab some meat from my parasaur I just killed over there. Put it into the raptor. And then we have a little tiny army of a unicorn and a tech raptor. See, I don't know what level a tech raptor is, though. If it's a low level, I'll probably only use that for, like, what, like a little bit of protection around what I'm going to be building as a base. So, I don't know yet. <clears throat> also, I plan on building a unicorn saddle, even though you normally wouldn't use saddles for horses, as you can see. But... I'll probably paint the unicorn a little bit of blue too. For now, it's gonna stay white and the tech raptor's gonna stay its color it's at right now. And we have the tech raptor too. So the orange and silver, it's nice. Well, I'm gonna cut the camera, do a little bit off grinding, and I'll see you guys soon. Looked at this, but look at the level of the tech raptor. I don't know if you saw that or not, but it's a level 260. That's probably not going to be protection. That's going to be, like, one of my, like, killers. Because, so, like, I'm not just going to go around fighting dinosaurs with a unicorn. Probably going to use this raptor. This raptor is going to come out, like, a 300 by the time this thing's maxed level. Because I don't know what the maxed is. But, from my personal experience, I'm pretty sure the max is 80 levels for my dinosaurs normally. And 80, yeah, it'll probably be around 300 and something. But other than that, yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm done building. So I just found a Jerboa, and Jerboas are the best, so. Sorry, buddy. It's happened like this. And for those of you that have your, like, your, um, that have their timing speed up really high. But, and you're taming a herbivore, and you want to tame, like, really fast, use stemberries, because they eat stemberries, like, instantly, because they know it keeps them awake, so they'll eat it, like, very fast. Because, as you saw, how fast my Jerboa tamed. But anyways, I don't know if I'm gonna unpause it again, but, see ya. I just found a nice base spot up here more, like, up this way. And there's even, like, walking mutton. Never seen walking mutton laying around. But anyways, yeah, I think up here is gonna be a nice base spot. I'm thinking, like, right in this corner, kind of. So, yeah, I didn't grab my animals when it came up here, because we're not that far away. This is the first of your base, of our base. Well, my base. I, I can't speak today. And I can't jump, apparently, either. Pretty sure dinosaurs are right down here. Man, what happened? Where'd I go? Like, three seconds ago, I was literally, like, on this tiny plot of land. 
looking up at a potential base fire. And now I'm clear of this. But all I gotta do is just follow this way down. Because this is where I came. I need points of stamina. I also never knew these guys were up here either. I guess they are. Look, another Jaboa. See, one thing is, if I find the opposite, if I find a male rap tech raptor, I can breed them, make a bunch of baby tech raptors, and then wait until they're fully grown, and then, like, take them and kill them, and they get a bunch of scrap metal, electronics, oil, all that. But... For now, I think I'm going to get this base up, set a campfire down, and a bed, and maybe a storage box. So I'll see you guys when I get that done. Look what I just noticed about my base. Hold up, is this rock breakable? It is, but anyways, look at this little back area over here. I could store, like, a valuable stuff back here, and I probably will. Probably a little fence foundation and door, maybe a wall. And then back here, I could put, like, a storage box. And I, like, see, like, this thing where I'll put a storage box and say it's an emergency kit. And they'll have, like, the best arbor I've possibly made. Put it in a box. Put it back here. And in case there's, like, an alpha raptor. Not an alpha raptor. Like, an alpha cardo or rex. Or something back here. Or something big and strong that these are animals what are we not be able to do? I'll put it back there. And then, like, I'll put it somewhere. In case it remembers. It's like, yeah. But, I don't think I can do that at the moment because, yeah. Because my base is just getting started. But, anyways, I think that's going to be the end of episode one. Well, guys, I will see you guys. Later.